Beginning today, several thousand Missourians not previously eligible for Medicaid can get health care coverage. After voters approved Medicaid expansion last year and following a lengthy court battle, the program is finally now processing applications. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Michelle Lee. And I'm Casey Nolan. Five on your side's Abby Larico joins us with what this means for so many. Abby. Hey, Casey. So having declined to expand Medicaid in the past, before today, the program didn't cover most adults without children or even most people living below the poverty level. Now up to 275,000 more Missourians can get health care coverage, and for some, that could be life-saving. I've been a health challenge for a very long time. I've had cancer off and on since I was five years old. Um, six different forms of cancer. Intense treatments left Amanda Reynolds with a body too ravaged to work. A body she fears might be turning on her again. With a mysterious lump in her abdomen, she can't get checked out without insurance. If I went into the emergency room, I was not going to be able to pay for it. But I only went when I knew that I couldn't handle the pain anymore. I had to do something. Previously, anyone making more than $3,000 a year had restricted Medicaid options, one of the least inclusive programs in the country. That's different with Medicaid's expansion. Now, anyone ages 19 to 65 making less than $17,774 annually for an individual or less than $37,570 for a family of four qualifies. So we knew it was important to get the word out and also be available to assist people with the process. Arlene Bolton and Jeff Oliver with Legal Services of Eastern Missouri have been doing just that. People could start getting confirmation of their new coverage in the coming days. It's going to make a huge difference for single adults and parents so that they can maintain the care that they should get. She's still in constant pain, but now Amanda's feeling something else. Honestly, for the first time again, I feel that hope coming back. This potentially could be a lifesaver for you, truly. Yes. Though 53% of voters said yes to Medicaid expansion, Governor Mike Parson at first refused to make it happen because he says the state didn't have it in the budget. The courts ruled the program must be implemented, tossing it back to Jeff City lawmakers to figure out how to pay for it. There's information on how to sign up right now on KSDK.com.